trying not to stare the night that I first met you. You had me mesmerized. And three weeks later, in the front porch light, taking 45 minutes to kiss goodnight, I hadn't told you yet. But I thought I loved you then. Now you're my whole life Now you're my whole world I just can't believe The way I feel about you, girl Like a river meets the sea Stronger than it's ever been We've come so far since that day And I thought I loved you Welcome everyone. We gather here today with family and friends to celebrate the love between Taylor and Hayden. I ask if anyone here sees any reason why these two should not be married today, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> the couple has written their own vows to each other and we will hear them now. Taylor. My light in the darkness, music to my ears, my anchor at sea, my compass showing me true north. If I'm wrong, you're right. <laughs> or a cold stone ice cream for dinner. I promise to support you forever and always I love you. Hayden, it is difficult to put into words the love I have for you. Growing up, I never thought it would be possible to find me. I had very high expectations. I wanted someone who would be honest, compassionate, loyal, and of course, they'd be, need to be handy enough to recreate my Pinterest board. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, here I am today, standing before you, and all of my dreams have come true, because you are all of those things and so much more. Taylor, I give you this ring as a sign of our love and commitment. To each other. I've said that before. <laughs> now you're it's stuck. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Hayden, I give you this ring as a sign of our love and commitment to each other. So, by power vested in me and the state of Minnesota, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You can kiss the bride.
Just a few miles from each other. He's always looked out for me and was always my partner in crime. When we were 18 years old, we just graduated high school and decided to live in a dorm together in Mankato. Everyone told us horror stories of how bad of an idea it would be to live with your best friend in college. They were wrong. And Hayden will be there for any trouble I get myself into at any time, and he'll always stick to my side. I've known Hayden for about 10 years now, and been best friends ever since. Closest thing I have to a brother, besides my actual brother, but... <laughs> I have always wanted a brother, but instead God gave me a sister who is beautiful, smart, strong-willed, and a total softie. You two have made me realize what true love looks like and what a happy relationship is. You have no idea the impact you both have had on my life. And I think you can all agree the love in this room, it's, it's emulating from Hayden and Taylor. And I do know that she will take care of my son for the rest of her life. I remember the day Taylor was born. I held her in my arms for the first time. She melted into my arms. Next thing I know, Taylor was asking me to drive the truck to school. She figured out that if she would, wanted to get Hayden's attention, she would drive a tent truck bigger than him. <laughs> Hayden, I'm, I'm so proud of the man you have become. And there's no one in the world that'd be better for Taylor than you. Because I know you will always take care of my little girl. Now our dreams are coming true Through the good times and the bad
I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. And love is all.